Joining me on the line, my business partner, the god king of the Daily Wear, lowercase g, lowercase k, Jeremy Boring, also one of the producers on our brand new film, Shut In, which we released on YouTube last night. So Jeremy, how did it go? Man, what a great night and such an exciting time to spend with our subscribers, premiering our first original film in, in the sense that it's the first film that we've been a part of from uh, beginning to end, our second film as part of our new entertainment venture. Just a, a big win for The Daily Wire. I mean, I'm really excited about it. A lot of the reviews that have been coming in about Shut In have, have noted what I think is really important, something that it, you and I and Caleb Robinson, our other business partner, decided very early on, which is if we were going to jump into entertainment, which was a risky move, we needed to make stuff that people actually wanted to see, not people felt like they had to see. We were going to provide people a safe space where they felt like they weren't going to be attacked for their values. But also, we didn't want to make stuff that was like, it's morally obligatory for you to see this or you will burn in hell. It was more like, this is stuff that I would want to sit down with my wife and watch because it's on Netflix or Disney Plus or Hulu, but it's just not going to kick me in the groin over my values. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, people keep asking me, what's the defining characteristic of a Daily Wire movie? And I think over time, people will define our content more for what's not in it than what is. What I mean by that is that from a values point of view, of course, we want films that are consistent with our values, that our audience will agree with on a values level. But that doesn't mean that we're making, you know, polemical or evangelical kind of content that's meant to change someone. We're, we're making entertainment. We're making art. Sometimes art's even challenging. But what won't be in our movies is that left-wing sucker punch, that thing that we all experience every time we turn, in, turn on the TV at night, or you sit down with your family, you're watching a film, characters that you love, maybe a TV show, characters that you've spent years with. And then somewhere in the third act, the filmmaker has to tell you that he's glad to have your money, but, he, but these characters don't belong to you. You know, they put in the, the left-wing diatribe or that, uh, that joke at your expense that's just meant to alienate conservatives, meant to keep us in our place. That's what's not going to be in our movies. So, Jeremy, one of the big stories in the media world this week is, is the fact that Daily Wire, thank God, has become a very large, successful company. We did an annual revenue of $100 million last year. And I think people should understand how expensive it is to produce film. I mean, first of all, $100 million sounds like a big thing for a company. And the big studio spent $100 million on a single film. Um, but the, 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 re, the, the reality is a hundred million dollars marketing a single film. That's, that's right. <laughs> so the, the, the reality is that what we're embarking upon here in trying to compete with the left wing cultural monopoly is a very expensive proposition, which is why you know, our members mean so much to us. It's not just that the members are part of the team and part of the crew and they get to see all the content. They're what makes it possible for us to actually compete with these guys. Yeah, I think that you and Caleb and I had a moment at the end of 2021 where we realized you know, we could cash out here. We could start taking a lot of distributions out of the success that we've made. We could buy boats. Uh, but then what? And we made a conscious decision. Well, instead of doing that, we're young. We're, we're not risk averse. Let's push all these chips back in. Instead of, instead of cashing out that money, let's invest. Let's try to build something that no one on the right has built in our lifetime, which is a fully well-rounded media company that can produce both news and entertainment in the vein of the major media companies uh, of our, when we were growing up, you know, ABC, NBC, CBS, these organizations that both drove narrative in the country, but also produced all the entertainment content, which really creates the Overton window in which narrative can thrive. And so, you know, we're, as you say, thank God we've been very successful with our company, but really, I feel like we're at the very beginning uh, of this journey that we're, that we're taking an enormous risk right now and trying to do something that conservatives have talked a lot about, but nobody's been able to pull off. So, Jeremy, one of the other things that we did last night during Backstage is we did release some teasers for some of our upcoming entertainment content. So what does our slate look like for the next few months? Yeah, so very excited to announce that uh, on March 10th, a month from now, we'll be releasing our third film, The Hyperions. This is not a film that we uh, produce from the ground up, but rather an acquisition. And I couldn't be more excited about it. The filmmaker, John McDonald, is a true auteur. I mean, the, the degree of specificity in every single shot, the originality in every single shot. It's as if Wes Anderson made Pete's Dragon with these amazing values of family and you know, overcoming pride and reconciliation. Interestingly, the filmmaker, not a conservative, uh, but someone who made a film that I know conservatives will relate to, a, a film that really does uh, sort of speak to the sort of universal values that used to be replete in art and now are actually very refreshing when you find them at all. And then, of course, we released the teaser trailer for our film with Gina Carano, the canceled star of The Mandalorian. You remember Disney canceled her for literally nothing. Uh, they canceled her for far less offensive comments than they gave Whoopi Goldberg two weeks of suspension for uh, over at The View. Um, Gina's movie, Terror on the Prairie, 
people are going to be – listen, people have low expectations. When you say the Daily Wire is getting into movies, they expect you're going to make like Hillary's Hard Drive Part 3 or something. You know, uh, I know they have low expectations, and we blew their stocks off with shut-in. They also have low expectations for Gina because you know, you're coming off of Disney. You're coming off of Star Wars. Now you're going to go make a movie with Ben Shapiro and Jeremy. But like, of course, they, when they see this movie, people are not going to believe it. It is a truly – theatrical worthy uh western um i i think dallas Sonia, our producing partner has never been better people are just gonna have their socks blown off by this film well one of the things i'm really excited about there is we're beginning to hit a broader and broader audience so run hide fight is obviously a, a, an r-rated film shut in is yep. r-rated uh hyperion's is not uh, hyperion's is is directed more toward family friendly content yeah you know it's still uh, it's still not for the little ones, right? We're, we're we're not making rated G content at this point, but yes, it's absolutely a much more accessible film. It, it doesn't have that sort of, uh, you know, some people said on Twitter yesterday, I noticed somebody said, why are all Daily Wire's movies horror movies? And I don't actually think we've made any horror movies, but they are speaking to something, which is we're making movies that are suspenseful. We're making movies that are action oriented. We are making movies that have some scares in them. And Hyperion's is something else entire. It really is like, uh, it's like, I, I, I used Peace Dragon as an example. It's like those early Disney movies where they were having to use extreme creativity to overcome budget, you know, deficits and uh, the things that Disney really faced in those early days. This is this is in line with that, but through the eyes of what I think is a truly genius filmmaker. Uh, and so, yeah, a, a film that I think will be more accessible and will broaden the audience. And folks, we had a huge audience that watched Shut In with us last night on YouTube. And um, and if you have the opportunity to, to see it now, the only way you can see it is by becoming a member over at dailywire.com slash subscribe. So please go become a member today. It really helps us out because again, our broader mission is to challenge Hollywood at the highest level. We really want to push back on the fact that they have a cultural monopoly that shapes the, the minds of hundreds of millions of people, billions of people around the world. And we want to provide an alternative source of content that isn't going to slap you in the face for your values. Jeremy, congratulations again on Shut In and I can't wait to see what we do next. Yep, and to you. We're in a battle for the culture and for our values. Like and subscribe to help keep our videos on the front line of the fight and top of your feed.